What is going on y'all? Today we're going to take your Starfield inventory from this to this. The Star UI Inventory mod improves your inventory screen using a compact display style with more details in sortable columns. There's also item tag icons, category as left icons, and many other quality of life features. Today's tutorial will be specifically geared toward the Game Pass PC version of Starfield. If you're looking for a Steam tutorial, head over to K Crucify's YouTube channel. She made a great, easy to understand Steam guide. Go ahead, check out her video, which is posted in the description below, and show her some love. Jumping right in, head over to the download link in the description. We will be doing a manual install, so we want to select this option. Once you have the download, create a new folder. I always have one on my desktop and you want to extract the contents of the zip folder to this folder. Head to the Starfield install location for the Game Pass version. Now I do save all my games under the default Steam location, so please try not to get confused and head to the location on screen for the Game Pass version. For the first step, we need to enable archive and validation. Head into the content folder and we're looking for the starfield.ini file. If you guys don't see the extensions on your files on Windows 11, go to View, Show, and make sure file name extensions is checked off. You also want to go ahead and make a backup of the original starfield.ini file. I'll do that and save it in our specially designated starfield folder. Go back to the install location and we want to double click the starfield.ini file. Look for the word archive, which is in square parentheses. From here, you want to go to the line right under it and do exactly as I do. We're going to delete the end piece here. Next, hit enter on your keyboard. Then simply copy and paste this line, which can be found in the description or in the pinned comment. And with that, we are done here. Make sure you head to File and save your changes. Now all that's left to do is head back to the folder where you extracted the contents of the zip file. You want to copy the interface folder, that is literally all you need, then head back to the Starfield install location. In the content folder, go into the data folder. You should find this video folder in here all lonely. Go ahead, wipe it up and you simply paste the interface folder. That's it, you are done, go ahead, boot the game and enjoy the best quality of life mod in Starfield with over 700,000 installations. If you want to uninstall this mod, simply delete the interface folder from content slash data and go ahead, replace the original starfield.ini file which you backed up earlier. Anyway guys, that's it for today's video. Go ahead, check out our Starfield Upscaler for DLSS and XESS install tutorial. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.